Welcome everyone. I'm Kathy and I'm here to share with you today this really bright cheerful card made using the Under My Umbrella stamp set and also the Umbrella Builder Punch. The punch is designed to cut out either shape of the umbrella as well as the handle. It makes it really fast and easy. And this card also incorporates the rainbow glimmer paper. Let me show you a big piece of that. There we go. How beautiful those colors are. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but it really sparkles. It also coordinates with the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, which I've used in this card. I'll show you both sides of paper. You can see how it goes well together. I love the purples. This is a nice set of Zancers paper without all the bold patterns, so it makes really nice backgrounds almost anything. And then there's this one. This is actually the pattern I used in the project. That's why it's a little smaller. So I cut off a one inch strip to create the strips for this card. Now before we get started on that, now this, this is the Mellow Mambo back, background for the card, uh, card base. And one thing I wanted to do for this card was to have a matching ribbon. So I took our crinkled seam binding ribbon and one of our alcohol markers, the blends. And I'm using the Melon Mambo, the light Melon Mambo marker. And I'm just going to color this real quickly. I'm using the alcohol, but you can also do this with Stampin' Right markers, but I'm using the alcohol markers, the blends, so that it will dry faster. And that's it. So now I've got a nice Melon Mambo colored ribbon. I'll set that aside. Let that dry thoroughly. Okay. Now while that's drying, I want to take the rainbow glimmer paper. And I'm going to take an umbrella door punch and I'm going to punch out. I just want to punch out the top umbrella piece here. And we'll use that on this card, so I'm going to stick that in here. And I love this glimmer paper because it does not shred or shed, I should say, anywhere. There's no glitter, see, so there's nothing. It's beautiful. Just beautiful paper. You can cut strips, you can make, you know, it choose a specific color. I chose to do kind of a rainbowy look here. It's layered to uh, darker. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I want to take, um, let's go ahead and adhere the strips. So, I, like I said, I've cut this into a one inch strip and then I've cut it to four and a quarter. So I'm gonna, I don't want these to really be side by side. I want to kind of flip this over. I just think it kind of gives it a more balanced look. Now, I know that I want this to be about three quarters of an inch from the edge. So I'm going to go in here, kind of eyeball when I'm placing it down. So I'm going to stick it here. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but the grid paper comes in handy. It has a ruler along the edge down at the bottom edge. It's probably off camera unfortunately. I'm using it to line up. My paper so I know where it's going to be. 
three quarters of an inch from the edge. So. Okay, so basically a three quarter of an inch edge on each side. And then the center panel is just a basic white piece. And I want to have a melon mambo handle so that it's all coordinating in color. I'm going to take the melon, the handle, ink that up real good. I just love this glimmer paper. So I know that this is going to go up somewhere up in here. So I want to make sure I don't get my handle too far down. I'm just kind of stamp it in here. And this is our Stampin' Pierce mat. If you don't have one, you really should get a hold of that. It is a beautiful tool for stamping, especially with the photopolymer stamps. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and put this down. There we go. And that's cute, so cute. It's so fast and easy. Um, and now our, our ribbon. I really just want to tie a knot on one end of this. Give it a little texture. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to wrap this around. Somewhere in here. A little bit of adhesive there. And then when you wrap this around, you can be sure to stick it on the back side. Okay, I'm going to trim that off a little bit. Okay, so well, that's the beginning of our panel. And one thing else one thing else they need to do is stamp the greeting and I want to use the layered oval punch and I'm just gonna punch out let's stamp it first we'll go ahead and stamp let me just trim that off so it's not in the way I'm gonna stamp the hello sunshine that on there. Okay. Now I want to slip that into the punch. I just want to use the bottom punch that does not have the scallops. Punch that out. Okay, so that's good to go. And then I'm going to take a piece of melon mambo and I'm going to punch out the layered scallop version. There we go. I'm just going to adhere that. There we go. Put that aside. Now I'm ready to assemble this panel with this card. So you could put this up on dimensionals, but I chose to put it down flat on this one and then raise the greeting up on dimensionals. Put the greeting, the hollow oh, sunshine. I'm going to use a couple dimensionals on the back of that. Pop that up. Put that down here. Get it straight. There we go. And lastly, I took the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Back Sequins. 
It comes in Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Mango Melody, and Rich Razzleberry. I just want to pull in. I think I'll use the Mango Melody again. It just kind of, This is the Mango Melody color that's in here as well as the Melon Mambo, so it matches really well. Let's just take this and we'll sprinkle a few of these in there. Jumping away from me there. There's one. I think I put one here. And maybe one right in here. There we go. And that's it. Isn't that adorable? I also, on the, the finished card, I took this basic design and carried it through to the inside so it matches there as well. So I did the same two stripes, three quarter of an inch in, and the, the basic white panel. I stamped it with the greeting. Gives it a nice finished look. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.